I have a favorite little story about a stained glass maker. And he was a wonderful master at making stained glass. Every glass that he produced, every window was exquisite. The colors, how they re directed the light. Now he also had an apprentice and she worked very hard to learn his technique uh, to get down what it takes to make a beautiful stained glass window. But she noticed that as she worked, every window, every stained glass that she made wasn't like the masters. It didn't have that quality, that goodness, that perfection. And so one day she thought to herself, well, maybe it's my tools. Maybe if I use the master's tools, uh, I would produce something just like him. So when the master was out of the shop one day, she borrowed his tools and she worked feverishly all night to try and prepare a beautiful window. But when she got done, again, there was something missing. When the master returned, she apologized for using his tools and gave them back to him. And he said to her, he said, well, maybe it's not the tools that you need. Maybe it's the master's spirit that you need. I thought of that story in terms of the feast that we celebrate today. What we find on this gift of Pentecost and the story of Pentecost is in a way the disciples had the tools. They had followed Jesus, they had worked with him, they had listened to him, they had gathered his wisdom, they had seen his great works, they had felt his profound love. They needed his spirit though. And today they receive that spirit. And what happens to them? They birth forth into the world and they begin to proclaim. They begin to utilize those tools in a whole different way. They bring life. The spirit at Pentecost is imaged as a fire and as a great wind. And that's a wonderful sort of image or those are wonderful sort of images for the spirit. And, and maybe that's what we're called to at this time. We've got the tools We've heard the story of Easter. We've heard Jesus' life and death and resurrection. Uh, we've pondered the mystery of Easter for the last eight weeks. Uh, and now maybe it's to take those tools, to take those gifts, to take the gift who we are in this holy year in honor of St. Paul that will end in just about a month. He has told us over and over that we have something special within us. That we are some earthen vessels with a great gift inside. Well, we want, what we want is that gift to be enlivened, to be on fire, to push us forward into the world. No matter who we are, no matter where we are in life, we can be alive with God's spirit. We can bring a about a great masterpiece of the presence of God.